Hey there, this is Prabhat Kumar and today I am going to model a 3D character EU from an animated movie Wall E. So let's get started. Now we will first delete the default cube, import a cone, and go to the edit mode, enable x-ray vision and we will delete all the vertices on the circular side uh, and finally we will left with a single vertex now we will go to the modifier section and add skin modifier to it uh, also we will add subdivision surface modifier and now we will extrude it using A key keeping it on Z axis and we will expand uh, this vertex using ctrl plus A we will increase the uh, viewport uh, subdivision level to 2 now we will uh, make a loop cut in this uh, uh, A's using ctrl plus R and double Z to grab it a little bit on the bottom side seems to be good now we will grab it a little bit upward We will expand it a little bit. Seems to be okay. It will be the body of our Eve. Now we will uh, duplicate it and move it on, uh, on Z axis and rotate it where 180 degree. To dissolve this vertex and grab it on the z axis towards bottom side control plus l to select this head and grab it and take it to the top side and now it seems to be good yep. now what we will do we will go to the object mode and we will apply the skin modifier and again we will go to the edit mode and going to the left orthographic view we will uh, First disable the X-ray vision and uh, enabling face selection mode and now we will uh, bring our 3D cursor to this place and add a cube C plus A scale it down since subdivision is also applied to it it looks like a spherical save now we will scale it on x axis grab it add a loop cut so that it uh, the staff is on the left side of the sand control plus r yep now what we will do using face selection mode we will select this face and uh, going to the left orthographic view we will grab it on z axis now it is slowly taking the safe of hand again we will add loop cut control plus r this side now I will select this cube and scale it down 
scale it on y axis alt plus this loop and grab it a little bit on bottom side looks fine now we will add another loop cut so that the soft is on one side now what we will do we will apply this uh, subdivision surface modifier uh, going to the object mode uh, apply now it is applied now it is converted into a mesh now we will again go to the edit mode and uh, we can see our hand we will select it enabling extra vision select it going to the top orthographic view and duplicate it shift plus t on x axis again we will rotate it uh, via 180 degree mm -hmm. looks fine go to the front orthographic view and rotate it a little bit grab it on x axis grab it on x axis looks fine uh, now we will try to add materials to our character we will keep the roughness to zero since it will be shiny we will select our whole mesh and assign this material to it uh, white material now we will again add new material for the for its face and that will be black again the roughness will be zero now what we will do we will go to the face selection mode from here and select first we will disable the x-ray vision now we will select this part of the head to make it make a face and assign this material to it now it looks like our character Eve character now what we will do we will uh, delete uh, this extra part uh, enabling extra vision we will enable the face selection mode and go to the x-ray vision and select this faces and delete uh, faces yep now what we will do we will uh, hold alt and click uh, on this oh firstly we will have to go to the a selection mode and now we will select this loop by holding alt key and clicking one of its is and now we will fill it fill it uh, and uh, disable the extra vision and insert it and moving it a little bit towards bottom side again insert it towards bottom side again we will insert it make it in make an insert and bottom side again for the final time looks good now what we will do we will add uh, a look cut here so that when we apply a subdivision surface one more time to make it smooth then it will maintain its surface mm. yeah fine now what we will do we will bring our hand towards the bottom side uh, x-ray vision must be selected for that 
or we can click control L now what we will do we will grab it towards z axis and move it little bit on bottom towards bottom side looks fine let me select it it has more width so we will what we will do we will scale it uh, little bit but keeping our z axis um, as it is so shift z little bit like this again scale shift z yeah looks fine Now what we will do, we will select uh, face here, disabling x-ray vision, we will select a face and uh, bring our 3D cursor here and now going to the object mode we will uh, import a cylinder, hmm, size is way big bigger than we uh, need so we will scale it down going to the left orthographic view we will rotate it to a 90 degree and again we will uh, scale it down scale it down on z axis to uh, give it a safe of i We will duplicate it and keep it on x axis. Oh, looks good. A little bit more towards this. Yeah, looks fine. Now, what we will do, we will add uh, another subdivision surface modifier. By simply, we can uh, do it by simply clicking on Ctrl plus 2 oh, after selecting the offset. We will click on Ctrl plus 2. Mm, now it looks fine. Now, what we will do? We will we will select the object and we'll go to the uh, modifier tab and. Division surface modifier. Let's apply it. And uh, uh, selecting the object, we will go to the modifier and add the boolean modifier. And uh, before adding boolean modifier, we will add, make a collection and move both of our, uh, both of these cylindrical eye into collection number two. And now we will uh, select the object and uh, uh, click on collection. We will make a difference uh, making hole in this face using this uh, these uh, cylindrical eyes and now we will select uh, the collection number 2 and uh, now we will apply it There is no need of need for these uh, cylinders, so we will delete it. And there is hole in the eye, so what we will do? We will go to the uh, edit mode and uh, uh, go to the 
in selection mode yeah it is already in edge selection mode what we will do we will uh, hold alt and select the inner edge loop and now we will click ctrl plus uh, one time and we will click on fill to fill this holes so what we will do we will add materials to these eyes now going to the materials for uh, add materials base color to um, the blue and now we will add emission emission color to this blue and straight this one. now we will go to the face selection mode and uh, select these faces and assign this material to it now we will go to the object mode and set smooth now our character is ready